Good morning and welcome to the Balcony Garden. This is Carson. I'm about to do um, a little maintenance on the crackery system here. And um, let's get started. I'm gonna switch back to the other camera. Okay. So as you can see, the okras are getting pretty tall. And um, I'm going to, first of all, measure uh, what the pH and the EC are. And depending on my findings, I will either add water or adjust the pH to suit. All right, let's go. Okay, let's take a look inside. a tight fit here because I'm on a small eight by three foot bal balcony. Uh, gonna do the pH first. Have a pH monitor here. Okay. pH is a little bit low. Right now I'm using master blend in here. Yeah, stabilize at about five point. Uh, five point two. Okay, I'm gonna raise it back up to about five point five or so, but I'll deal with that after I check um, how much um, the EC is. Uh, let's see here. I've got an EC monitor here. Five to 3.6 or 3,500, 3,600. That's what it's going to need to calibrate this a little bit more. Okay, all right, let's call it about 3.5. Okay, great. Now, what that tells me is that I I need to do something to lower that EC and I'm, first thing I'm going to do is add some water and then I'll deal with the pH after I've done that. So I'm going to move these out of here for a little. Okay, the water level had dropped a little bit so about a gallon or four liters. Let's take a, a read in there. I'm going to press hold on this to, to get a read in. See where it's at. Okay. Let's see if you can see this. It was at um, about 35, 36 just now, 100. It's now at 31. So I can put in a little bit more uh, water. Okay, and see how it goes. Switch off there for a sec. This one is going to be a little tricky because it's heavier. Oops. Another four 
four liters. Okay. Do another measure. It's down to about 28. I think I'm gonna freeze there. Uh, let me just put a hold on that. Oh, still moving. Okay, the highest value there is about 3.028 or 3000 EC. So I'll go with that. Okay, all right, let's check the pH now. This is where I will set the pH if it needs it. All right, here it goes. I stir it around a little bit so that it, you know, just in case there are any air bubbles in up in the sensor area. All right. This is saying 5.95. Uh, I could I could actually live with this because my range, my favorite range is 6.5, 5.5 to 6.5. So. The master blend I know doesn't really fluctuate very much in terms of pH, so I can live with this and get away with it without adding any acid right now. So it seems to be stabilizing around six. I'm gonna stay with that for now. Should be able to um, drink um, all, all of the nutrients it needs because the reason why you worry about the pH is outside of that 5.5 to 6.5 range um, some plants um, do not take up all the the elements you know like phosphorus or potassium and so on so you have to make sure that you stick in that range and um, at least you'll get the majority of them in one go so yeah that's how I do it um, I just show you what I would have done in this case if I wanted to get down to 5.5 I, I use root uh, root farm uh, pH down and um, I would have I would have taken this dropper and uh, filled it up and and um, just keep dropping and measuring dropping and measuring you know into the the liquid there so that's how you do it <clears throat> not very difficult is it it's just a little awkward because um, I'm in the balcony garden right now and it's not about a lot of space to maneuver I'm preparing a little um, video on how I set up my my ear stone and so on for you so that will be out shortly well good morning and hope you have a nice day if you like what you see give us a thumbs up and um, subscribe cheers